Shove this into the pipe. It's just small enough. Swam through the filter. Let's do it! You guys ready? I'm gonna go in. Look out, no wait, just let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh catch him up. I got the camera, we're live. All right, guys, we weren't gonna film any of this. Now, what we're actually planning on doing today is we're with Joey Slam. He's gonna help us out. He has a side pond with a couple koi in it and nothing that will eat these baby koi, but it's getting really, really, really cold. So we're gonna have to move all of these koi fish into that pond because I needed to put the majority of the water pressure into this pond with our exotics, like our arowanas, etc., guys. But what we're looking at over here, which is really, really strange. Um, there's a fish in here and you can actually smell the tails right here. You can see it. Come here, come here. The tail is, we're fixing this up. Hold on, he moved. No, he's gone. There's a koi fish in here. Now, we have a grate and I've interchanged the grate on and off, but most of the time, check it out. Come around, come around here, come around this side. Look how small the holes of this grate are. Check this out. Look how small, super small, very, very small. And maybe I didn't know, I think I always had it this small. Yeah, since day one, I've always had it small because I've always had koi in this pond. I had the alligator gar, uh, not the alligator, the long, the long nose gar. And then I put the koi in here and that's when they all bred. So I'm thinking that when I did this connection, now this water is moving slowly. It was, it wasn't moving out fast and just pushing it all out because this pipe right here, check this out, this exit, it, it goes down and then it goes back up. So instead of that water just rushing, 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 it was kind of like trickling back out into the lake while this pipe is just rushing, check it out. This pipe is just rushing straight on because it doesn't dip and then come back up. You know, like a roller coaster, you slow down at the bottom and then you start to slow up. That's what's going on with the water pressure coming from the other from the other pond. One of the smaller koi fish had to get sucked up in here, just swam through the filter, I mean through the exit, and it somehow stayed in here until it got to be like, this thing that I saw was like three inches. This piping goes underground, uh, back up a little bit over there. This piping goes underground like, I wanna say 10 feet or so. So this dips underground about a foot and comes back up. And you see that water trickling? Check this out. The water pressure was going about three times faster than this. So it's just, just a trickle, just getting that water out. And I'm pretty sure that this, this was a baby koi that actually got stuck in this pipe. Oh my God, baby. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's stay, let's stay. Three places. Go back there, see if you can see it. Every time I come around, he goes back. Now there's no pressure on this right now. Can you see him? Yeah. Let's just wait for a second. We've been waiting for five minutes. He didn't show up. But anyway, while we just did this, we just finagled this whole thing. We just reconnected this pond and we're taking this pond and getting rid of it. But there are koi in here. I just gotta figure out how to get them out without digging this whole thing up because I'd like to keep this system how it is in case I wanna make something else over here which is gonna be really cool in the future. <laughs> this is how we're gonna get it out. If this doesn't work, we'll try something else. We might have to dig up this whole thing which I really didn't wanna do. I wanted to keep this in the ground. So I'd like to get these fish out without leaving it in the ground. But if we leave this here, they're all gonna die because the, the water's gonna dry up. So Joey, keep that bad boy right here, okay? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. Now, if these fish do come out, keep an eye for them. There's nowhere for them to go here. Have it right here. I think, I think it was just one. Take it out. All right, so I'm gonna shove this into the pipe. It's just small enough. I'm not sure, we might have to saran wrap this in order to have max pressure to get this out. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway, all right? So 
I'm gonna turn this on. Joey, you watch for Koi. Sounds good. All right, cool. So why don't you just take a step back behind the, so the screen, see if we can get all this at once. I want you guys to know that this is not fake. Like this is absolutely ridiculous, but whatever. Okay, ready? I'm gonna turn this on, then go right over there to the net. Ready? Three, two. Oh, oh my God. Oh yeah. Come on. Let's do it. A little wet. Joey! <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, well, I'm glad you wore all that good today. Let me tell you why. Hey, thanks, buddy. All right. I saw one. I think one's under here, though. Dump it out, dump it out, dump it out. Just dump it it's out right, right here. Out. Because it's covered in slime. I don't want to squish him. Okay, go ahead. That's not the one I saw. Wait. I think there's more than one. Hold on. Lift this net. Let's get this out of the way. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me get. Look around. Hold on. I saw a white one. All right. Did he go back in the pipe? I don't know. Look at this. Look at all these critters. Look how, no, wait, just look how big this is. Oh my god. Hold on. Wait, there's another. Ah! It's nasty. There's a whole bunch but look at all the koi food and garbage stuck in here. Clams. There's clams. <laughs> look at this. I'm dying. Look at these little, look at all these snails mixed in with koi food. Zoom into all these little things and clams. All these things running around. Little sand crabs, clams, all that food. I know I saw, I know I saw a right here. You're not stepping on them, huh? No, 100% not. I think he's actually under this. I think he went. Dig away. Dig away, dig away. I know I saw one. He fell to the left of that pipe. But the open. Oh, not that left. Wait, let me see. Let me look around. Oh, don't look in there too, because there's a little creek that he could be swimming down. He could be crushed by the monster Joey Slam. I don't see any movement. Oh yeah, here, here he is. Here he is, underneath the pipe. <laughs> this is the white one that I saw originally. There's two of them in there. Check that out. That's insane. I know. Look. Look at that thing. That is ridiculous. These things were living with clams. Check this out. With clams, snails, all these little creatures that were stuck in that pipe because it dipped and came back up. So because it doesn't have like a straight shot, because it didn't have a straight shot back into the lake, all these little creatures, check this out. Zoom into that. You can see them all just yeah. moving around. You can see them, are the blood worms right here. They're all living in the algae. Yeah, like these are not parasites. Oh, these are things that the fish eat. The blood worms right there. They're just like. It's all natural. And it, it's actually. all natural. All the koi food. The clams is what give me every time. How about keep an eye on that? Keep an eye on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna flush it out again. Alright, well, <laughs> Wide receiver, Joey Slam. Here to receive. <laughs> Yeah, All right. That, bring that net real quick if you don't mind. Yeah, forget it. Okay, cool. Oh, you want the net so the stuff doesn't get in your Yeah, I appreciate that. There's a lot of gunk in here. We're going to go the other way now. Uh, safety goggles. Safety goggles, for real. Let's go. All right, Send cool. It, baby. I know I saw the white fish, and I obviously we saw that. Okay, we're going to try it again. Check this out. It's actually pretty dry in here. Is that another one? No. I don't know. I, if there is another one in here, let's give it a shot. It's not going to hurt us to flex this out again. All right, guys, ready? I'm going to go in and look at Joey. Ready? Three, two. Oh! 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 He's right here. What the hell? Look. I know. Guys, bring it over here, Joey. Bring it over here. What the hell? Oh, oh Joey! No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. 
Dude, how many are in here? Hold on. Hold on, I'm, doing, I'm going again. Oh! Another one! Still alive? Yeah, kicking. Fine, look at that. Come on, there might be more. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. I think, I think pipe maintenance is over. Did we get them? I think we got them all. Man, there's a lot of sludge in there. Look at all that garbage. Look, at there's all clams, clams, snails. Clams, snails, all sorts of crap. You put that in the light. Check it out. Yeah. Crappy oh. crawlies. Oh, so gross. Hold on, let me dump it out just in case there's a koi in there. Oh, now look at it. That is so gross. Ah! Oh. You want to send it one more time that way? Just send it as many times as we can. Right. Guys, there's koi fish. We have, how many do we have so far? Four? Check this out. These guys were living in a pipe. Look how wide the pipe system is. This was living in this pipe system, going back and forth. For, for who knows how long. Probably as long as all the other fish have been in here. All right, nothing. Let's try it one more time. That's why it's so important to have yourself a leaf blower. Electric leaf blower. Brought to you by Cobalt Tool. Nothing's coming out. I think we got them. I think we got them. There was four koi living in there. <laughs> They're pretty cool. We have four survivors. Look at this guy. This guy is beautiful. Check him out. That thing is absolutely magnificent. Check out this one. <laughs> Completely albino. That guy is going to be beautiful. Fantail. Here's albino. Hold on. Completely, look at that thing. That thing is gonna be absolutely magnificent. And then, it's a little gold one. Look at this guy. Look at that fat chub, fantail mix. That's wicked, bro. You know what? To remember this day, I'm gonna keep this guy. Cause this guy is really cool. I'm gonna keep this guy, but these are the type of koi quality that we have in here that I'm gonna give away for you guys. And on the last video, I was talking about giving them away, and that's what we're going to do. But I can't believe that. So these guys were underground. These guys were surviving underground amongst this sludge, eating all this food. Zoom into that. There's tons of food here. Look at that. There's literally tons of food. And in the other muck, you can even see that there's koi food stuck in it. But, you know, check your pipes, guys. There's a lot of fish breeders and other people will attest that in their filter, when they have some babies, they don't even know they're not paying attention, you'll have a couple of fish, some mollies, et cetera, et cetera, some tetras, and you'll find the babies in the filter. Now, this isn't a filter per se, but it's the same concept, guys. So check your pipes when you're cleaning, take your time because you never know what's gonna happen. Now, I just wanted to get rid of that stuff and I happen to see the tail. Otherwise, I probably would've just let it dry out, to be honest. I wasn't planning on doing any of that. Uh, <laughs> stuff happens guys here are all the koi that we are giving away there are about i'd say at least 200 of them that is quite a lot of koi look at this huge school of them that is just ridiculous but i hope you guys enjoy them we're going to try to figure this out like i said um let me know in the comments below once again i'm really going to try to figure this out in a way that's safe for everybody you know with this whole pandemic and everything and keeping everybody safe. I'm giving everybody their individual fish. Joey's gonna keep them over in his pond for a while so we can keep our exotics safe with the hot water. And uh, yeah, guys, it's getting really, really cold. It's getting really, really cold. So tomorrow it's gonna be like 40 degrees or something or maybe low 50s and then 40 the next day, I don't know. But we just need to relax, get all our core fish taken care of because these guys can survive those cold temperatures and uh, get back to it, guys. I hope you enjoy this episode. That was ridiculous. Insane. The whole piping thing, that there was actually fish <laughs> stuck in there. I've, 
You know, I can't say I haven't seen anything like that because I have, but that was really surprising. <laughs> I'm happy we were able to see that because I probably would have just let that dry up. You know, I may or may not have tried to clean out that pipe just because I knew there was some type of gunk in it. We've got some jumpers, but um, but yeah, guys, stay tuned for the next episode, guys, and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him up!